morning, Dad. You there? Uh, running a wee bit late, uh, 10.30. I'm just leaving with the boat now. Is that going to be okay still? That's okay, yeah. Big tide. Right, we'll get this punt in the water and go and pick up the old man. Nice flip, weren't it? How easy is that, eh? Went for a bit of rain, you reckon it's going to come here? Yeah? Bloody cracker, I like the lines. You only ask you what, 2,000, are you? Giveaway. See you later. It is a bit of a mess, but that's because they're still building it. They built this, it gets it warm in no time. Jeez, it's got a bloody oven more than I've got at home. Kitchen sink, dishes making a cup of tea. Still a work in progress. And up here's the uh, wheelhouse where you controller. You don't have a lot of vision on your buddy uh, starboard side, do you? So she's going to have two showers. Yep. Two it's a work in progress, but Dad lost his balance halfway through the job and then couldn't finish it, so needs a bit of work. It looks like a bit of leaves and stuff can blow inside. Yeah, coming down the vent. Oh, yeah, coming down the vent. Ah, the toilet in there, sure. Tell you what, uh, we better work down on it to tidy up. Should be awesome. The motor's stuck up, so we're going to try and get it down. Yeah, she's down. down. She's down, yep. Oh, that's great. Yep. That makes like idea. Okay, what about the other one? Yeah, she's good. Well, that motor was jammed up, so I was going to actually have to tow down, but we can actually now steam with this. Yep, that one going water here. Yep, no, you're good. Both impellers are working good. You know, your starboard motor's looking great. Port motor's good too. This is the ferry, the second one that Dad built here, folks. It's coming through now. Guys. Gee, they'll be struggling to pull that yacht out with that little car. That's my mooring over there. I used to have a boat on it, but the boat got a hole and was old and wooden and crappy, so I don't have a boat anymore, but I do have a mooring. Dad's talked about possibly giving me this boat one day, so if I do, that'll be the mooring I'll put it on. Definitely needs some tender love and care and be finished off. Amazing place to live and to get around here, all the places you could anchor up and do a bit of fishing, a bit of bird watching, a bit of work, nice to be space away from the rest of the world, fantastic livable space. It's a bloody genius the old man, now he's built so much stuff, not only did he do all the engineering, the electrical work, the plumbing work, but he actually built the whole thing physically himself too. Well, it's still quite deep, about there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Two little guard dogs. Recently we had a big storm and luckily none of these houses got flooded because they're on this side which is the side away from all the wave action. It's a sheltered little bay. Guys look like they've run into a bit of trouble here. That looks a bit dodgy. Got a rope pulling one way and one pulling the other way. That's not going to work. I can see this turning a bit pear shaped. You're going to need to pull that way bud. I can tell you with my four-wheel drive you get stuck. Just grab the front of me boat, please. It came to get you when you hung over to do it. Right, I'm my trailer off. Come on, on there, sweet ears, bro. So he called you up when you had a bit of a hangover this morning. <laughs> yeah. These mates like that, eh? <laughs> I hope you're drinking good single malt whiskey. Oh, oh bourbon. Oh, well, you, you ask for trouble, mate. <laughs> Oh, smell of burnt rubber. 
Too easy. No worries. The old Bowden's a good knot for that, eh? Just comes out a piece of piss. That or a towing hitch for that sort of thing's always good. That tie's bloody flat on this side too, isn't it? Those ties are flat. Jeez, it needs some air in it. If this had a V bottom, that would be getting torn right out, but because it's flat, I can do it against the current. Oh, so you built this one yourself? Yeah, well, can't you tell? She's pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> Used to have a uh, Skoda seat, and then I went up in the world and got an SS Commodore seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all built out of GG plywood and then I put some fiberglass on it just to yeah. just to um a bit of Yeah well it was, it's GG plywood's the cheapest plywood you can get you know. Hey thanks for the hand mate. Well thanks thanks for helping me. Yeah, no worries, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Next time that bastard rings you up with a hangover we'll just go back to sleep. <laughs> I've just got a couple of bits of plastic just to stop anybody coming down their mountain bike or something and Riding into that rope, seeing it. Back home, giving the old girl a bit of a flush. What you can do is you can stick a little bit of detergent or dishwashing liquid in your water, and that'll go through and clear all the salt and other stuff that gets caught and oxidates on the pipes that come back out when you're out there, and also your inlets. So, uh, job done for Dad, and uh, now into the rest of the day. Anyway, good luck doing the stuff for your own folks. Help them out when you can, because uh, they certainly did a lot for you when you were young. Be good. If you can't be good, be careful. See you later on. <laughs>